while I was growing up. I guess in middle years, I decided that I really wanted to be a teacher. And uh, I guess I had a teacher that was really inspiring and I wanted to be just like her. I think that's how most kids decide what they want to be. They look up to somebody. And it was, I was in French Immersion, so I wanted to be a French Immersion teacher. So I went into high school thinking that I was going to finish school and become a French Immersion teacher. And then uh, I spoke to a couple teachers about going into education and they actually encouraged me not to. <laughs> they told me that uh, there was very little respect for teachers. So that kind of steered me away from that and then I didn't know what to do for a while. And I went through a period where I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then uh, I focused on what I enjoyed doing and I always liked doing math and art. And so I looked at careers that kind of had both of those involved. And so I decided to take architecture. I, I guess I went through university um, taking architecture not enjoying it as much as I would have liked, I guess. And then I found a job after university and found it quite mundane and didn't feel that I was following my true path. And uh, so I worked as, um, I guess, a drafts person doing drafting for about a year. And I decided that I wanted to give education a shot. So I applied for a job in a school as an EA and I got the job and I absolutely loved it. So that was what encouraged me to go back to school and become a teacher. So I went back to school and got my second degree in education and uh, not a French immersion teacher because it had been a few years already since I was out of French immersion and I mean I still know French but I, I don't know if I could teach it now. Um, and uh, so I guess a little bit of advice would be that if there's something you truly want to do, don't let others persuade you not to do it. Give it a try before giving up on it completely. And on the same note, don't always believe that what you want to do is the only thing you can do. Because I wouldn't say that just because I didn't enjoy architecture, that it wasn't something I was like completely incapable of doing because I really did well at it I would say but I just didn't feel it suited me completely. Okay so one thing that I overlooked was that after I applied as an EA um, I was actually offered a position as a teacher in the school that I was EAing in because they lost a teacher and they couldn't find someone to fill the position and because I had a degree already it actually worked out in my benefit that I had gone to university even though I didn't take what I would have liked to. Um, I ended up teaching in the school for a couple years and um, and then yeah I guess fell in love with it and went back to school after that um, with the intention of going back and teaching full-time but uh, yeah I guess then we adopted our daughter and that's why I'm a substitute teacher. <laughs>